On Australia's biggest warship, this country's largest ever military drills officially get underway. A record 30,000 personnel from 13 nations are taking part in Exercise Talisman Sabre. To be able to defend our respective nations and our respective national interests. As always, an uninvited nation is taking interest. An Australian P-8 aircraft making contact with a high-tech Chinese surveillance vessel in the Coral Sea yesterday morning. It's expected to position off the central Queensland coast within days. It'll move down, I expect, and will be in the location of the exercise again. They've done this for a number of years. We're well prepared for it. Military exercises don't just help armed forces to hone their skills, they also send powerful messages to allies and potential adversaries. And while China has not formally asked to take part in Talisman Sabre, it continues to show a high interest in the event, just as Australia and the United States keep a close eye on the growing activity of the People's Liberation Army. Australia is also closely monitoring its closest ally for signals on AUKUS, with US Senate Republicans again threatening to block the transfer of Virginia-class submarines here. I really don't see any stalling of, of any legislation on Capitol Hill. We'll let the American process play its way out, but we're actually very confident and encouraged by the way in which that's occurring. And a frustrating delay for Japan's visiting self-defence force. Their historic anti-ship missile live firing into Australian waters postponed for now. It's actually just some slight weather issues, a swell which is slightly larger than we really need. Talisman Sabres yet to begin with a bang, but there'll still be plenty of firepower over the next two weeks. Andrew Green, ABC News, Sydney.